You know, four years ago, um, I made the film 2016, Obama's America, <laughs> which, which kind of upset the thin-skinned narcissist in the White House. I doubt that Obama had ever even seen D'Souza's stupid movie, and I highly doubt Obama even gave a shit about it. <sighs> and so for a relatively minor campaign finance infraction, I was locked up overnight for eight months in a federal confinement center. D'Souza was sentenced to eight months in a halfway house for committing a felony. On what fucking planet is a felony a relatively minor infraction? Let's all go easy on Dinesh, folks. He's only a relatively minor felon. He's lucky they didn't throw his ass in prison. And he brings up his movie about Obama as though he thinks the reason he was punished for the felony he admits to committing was because Obama personally ordered it. Clearly, the only reason such a fine, upstanding citizen like Dinesh D'Souza would be treated like that as if it were ordered from on high and he says Obama is the narcissist now I just want to I just mentioned that because I want to tell you that if that film got me eight months in the slammer this new movie is gonna earn me life in prison <laughs> No, that movie didn't earn you eight months in the slammer. First of all, you were never even in the fucking slammer. The prosecutor wanted you to go to prison, but the judge decided to go easy on you. Secondly, even if you had been sent to prison, it would have been because you committed a felony, not because of your derpy conspiracy theory movie about Obama. Look, it's time to take the gloves off, and as you got a glimpse from this film, it is a sordid, history of the Democratic Party from the very beginning all the way through Hillary. Let me guess, it'll bring up the fact that the Democratic Party was full of racists and Klan members in the past. I wonder if it'll also mention the fact that after LBJ passed a civil rights bill in 1964, most of the most rabidly racist Democrats became Republican. I also wonder if he'll mention the fact that appealing to those racists has been used by the Republicans to win elections from the Southern strategy to Donald Trump's campaign. The Southern strategy was an effort made by Republican candidates to win voters by appealing to Southern racists. Many Republicans fully acknowledge acknowledge this fact. In 2005, RNC chairman Ken Melman even apologized to the NAACP for this. Yes, the Democratic Party used to be full of racists, but the Democrats who most ardently supported Jim Crow laws jumped ship in the mid-60s, became Republicans, and have been Republicans ever since. D'Souza would very much like us all to forget about this.